Yo, y'all read the title right. We got another one off of Moments. Let the cringe fest continue. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see, consider becoming part of this little family by clicking subscribe button and notification bell. Switch it up on you this time. Bottom right hand corner. Now, I guess the title is right. Yesterday we did escape, today we got overdose. And going back to these old moments tracks is like, I love it because one, it's cringe. And two, it's dope to be able to hear like where he came from. It's like me going back and watching my first reaction. I was so confident, but when you hear it like a year and a half later, if you go back and watch my very first reaction, shit. <laughs> It doesn't help that I was drunk, that obviously boosted the confidence, but I was like, I think it was in that video, I was like, your boy don't miss no bars. And then I proceed to listen to the song, half the bars didn't even talk about them. I didn't miss them, I just thought that they weren't as important to talk about. But now a year and a half later I know, I can't be missing shit because that's kind of my, that's kind of my thing. And if I miss one bar, that's the only thing that's gonna be in the comments. Cause y'all be relentless sometimes, only God is perfect, remember that. Nah, I'm just kidding, but yo, I just wanna get on into this because I'm excited. You know what I always say, Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter, at the third earnest, just like the channel, no spaces, links down in the description below. Let's just pop these bad boys on and let's just get after it. We finna get active. Oh, I almost forgot to say, hello. This video, you can thank once again, comes from the Patreon request of Rini666. She decided, yo, let's get a good laugh for two months in a row, two of my requests. So y'all have her to thank a second sacrificial lamb for our humor and for our enjoyment. Hope you don't use sheep to try to fall asleep because Rini out here sacrificing all of them to the gods of cringe debut albums. But now let's get it. Yeah. I'm looking for that overdose. <laughs> yeah. When I say I want that overdose, it ain't about the drugs. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. Yeah, just the, again, we're like, just the stacking of his voice, like it's not necessary. And I know there's like no reason it's not. I either know because Eminem does it heavily and this was obviously a high influence on who he was at this time as an artist. Like obviously drew a lot of inspiration from Eminem, so why not try to be produced like him? If anything, I'm overdosing on the amount of vocals that are on this track stacked on top of each other. Two tracks in a row. And I'm sure if I heard this whole album, it would all sound like this. I'm glad that he got rid of that because his voice sounds fine the way it is. Like, he's got a good voice. All right, let's keep going. When I say I want that overdose, it ain't about the drugs. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost running through my blood. I'm looking for that overflow, something I can love. You think the show's over? Oh, no, it's just begun. You can call me special feature. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. But my name is not what I came to teach you. Yo, I know a guy who can save and won't leave you. He don't show his face well. He don't really need to. I give him the glory back. Okay, okay, so obviously this is very Christian. Now I know what people are talking about when they say he came from his Christian roots. Because other than like two songs on Mansion, Therapy Session, Perception, The Search, you can hear like he throws like elements of his faith in there, but it's nothing like literally straightforward like this. If I'm not mistaken, and I thought this last time that I saw this album cover, this looks like church pews. So now I know why he got popularity because in the regular rap world, this album might not have flown so heavily. It might not have flown so high. People wouldn't have really vibed with it. But in the Christian rap world, there was probably nothing that sounded like this at the time. Christian rap doesn't sound like that. Christian music in general doesn't sound like that. Like we're talking about our faith in God, but we have this really aggressive undertone. It, this probably sounded groundbreaking. So I understand now, like back right now, he was a Christian rapper. Now he's a rapper that's Christian. <laughs> But let's keep going. Uh, you can call me special feature. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. But my name is not what I came to teach you. Yo, I know a guy who can save and won't leave you. He don't show his face well. He don't really need to. I give him the glory back. Yeah, I mean, it sounds good. I know I just listened to the same part over again so I could come back and like hear the actual lyrics because I was just listening to the sound before. But he's saying like, I'm the special feature because God is always first. I'm not first. I'm not here to teach you my name. I'm not here for you to be a fan of me. I'm here to spread the word through my music so you can be a fan of God. This is very Christian compared to his other songs, for sure. He don't show his face well. He don't really need to. I give him the glory for everything I have. He's more than just a story of some of the past. Like living for the money. 
See, like, this type of lyrics are kind of what turn people off who are not heavily into the faith. You know, they believe in God. They don't go to church that often. They want to be able to feel connected to the music. But these type of lyrics, if you're not connected to God in like a very profound way that a lot of people who go to Christian and Bible churches are, like if you're just an everyday listener like me, I want to connect with the artists and the music that I'm listening to. So if I don't connect with church in that way, this type of music and this type of Christian rap and Christian music sounds like it's pushing it on me and no one wants to be force fed something. So that's why Christian music kind of has this polarizing like connotation toward it. It has you either really love it or you don't like it at all because the subject matter is all the same and the subject matter is not something that I connect with. It's probably a good thing that he kind of, at least for his career, depends on the way you look at it. It's probably a good thing that he kind of became a little more cryptic, a little more not in your face with his belief. We know that he's heavy in his faith, but we don't need it to be said like you need to be heavy in your faith too. Like, who are you to decide that for me? If he would have stayed with these same Christian heavy elements, he definitely would have not blown up into the artist that he is right now. It's just a fact. Like if I didn't know who NF was now, if I would have heard this back in 2011 or whenever this came out, 2010, I would have definitely dismissed it because I don't like to be preached to like this. I just don't like that in music. But I could definitely understand, especially people who are extremely devoted, like strictly only listen to Christian music, I could understand why they would like this. That's why I give it to you in the form you understand. Cause sometimes in life things never go as planned. And sometimes you might feel like there's no chance. <laughs> you feel me again that's not a good way to end a verse you could have just ended it at quit trying to control it and put it in his hands that's like a powerful enough line i'm leaving an impact with what i'm saying right here not like let jesus and god take the wheel you feel me that's just not needed in the song the verse would have ended perfect with just put it in his hands but it's dope again that you can hear like the seedlings that he's planting to like water and manicure and grow into like the artist that he became today He's fully bloomed, he's fully blossomed, and he's NF now. But you can hear the piano melody, you can hear the orchestra, you can hear the heaviness in the sound. It sounds like who he should have sounded like 10 years ago. This sounds exactly how it has to sound to get the person that we have today as NF. And that's dope. Quit trying to control it and just put it in his hands, you feel me? See, without the you feel me, it would have just been in his hands, and then it would have had the girl like riffing her vocals on top, and then the beat drop. That would have been fire. Like, I wish I could just take that out right now because that would have been dope. But he ruined it. But I can't be mad at him. I can't be mad at the situation. I can't control it. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. You feel me? <laughs> We're trying to control it and just put it in his hands. You feel me? So the chorus, it's like they did the production backwards. Like his voice did not need to be layered and stacked. Her voice is what I want to be impacted by. And then I just want to hear Nate in the background with just one track, just his voice solo. Cause that singing right there, it wasn't like top notch. And the way producers hide certain flaws in vocals is by doing the multi-stacking. So they needed to do it on her. So it like sounds, that's why reverb is such a big thing when you go sing karaoke, because reverb makes your voice sound better because you're getting a lot of echo. You're hearing yourself multiple times. That's why you sing better in the shower than you do in a carpeted room or in a closet with clothes because the reverb helps you sound better. And that's what they needed to do right here for sure. The chorus on this one, I was about to lie to you. The chorus on this one is just as bad as the last one. So let's just keep going. Yeah, it's so real. Why the world's so crazy? The rape, rape, climbing, and girls having babies. Murders in the streets, murders in the schools. If God really cared, he wouldn't let the paper soon. But a lot of y'all are looking from the wrong angle. And overdose is in there, your whole life tangled. You look in the Bible, even Satan was an angel. That just goes to show us the power it creates you. 
the the lyrics are dope like what he's saying is good and that's one of the things that i personally think about christian music and one of the things that kanye west whether you ever hated his album or not whether you hate what he stands for or not jesus is king album injected a whole new level of creativity in the gospel music into christian music into just music that preaches about faith in general because before that a lot of christian lyrics are very straightforward but the topic is dope the way he's saying like you're looking at it from the wrong angle like you're looking at it as if god is not stopping these people from doing these things when really you need to be looking at god and being able to say thank you for giving me the free will and giving my fellow man the free will to make whatever decision he wants and then upon judgment day we figure out what's going to happen and obviously the whole satan was an angel at one point it's not the first time that's been said before but Again, there's not a whole lot of flexibility on this topic because you're talking about the same thing that's been talked about in other Christian music for so long. You know, I hope that makes sense because I hope I think I make sense, but I don't know. Into something crazy, into something pitiful. You don't want the truth, now you get it at your funeral. Something is a joke, overdose, keep laughing. Ain't gonna be so funny when you land in your casket. Yeah, he can save you. I ain't that sounds like a Nate, uh, that sounds like a Nate line that he would say today that was a bar there hasn't been a bar the whole time and it sounds like something that he would say and it sounds like something he said on songs before it's the same concept as like money runs your life but you can't take it with you when you go and here he's saying it's like you think that this life is a joke like you like overdosing and like taking all these prescription pills and living the fast life you think it's a joke it won't be so funny when you're laying in your casket that's a dope line the problem with it is that it's two and a half minutes into a song that's very preachy. So a lot of people, other than Christian people who are, if they hear the first part of this, they might have already tuned out by now. Now it's like, it's much more acceptable. It's much more easy to digest for someone who's not heavily into the faith because now he's just a rapper who has a lot of faith and we know he has faith, but he doesn't put it as heavily or as straightforward or as literal or as, or as judgmental as he is doing right here. So funny when you land in your casket Yeah, he can save you I ain't tryna play you I'm just tryna represent the one and only savior Lies of the world I leave you like a broken heart Hey, you looking for the same thing that tore you apart Why did he have to say, come on right there? You know what this is like? This is like in Parks and Rec when John Ralphio is like starts freestyling and then he can't end it on the downbeat. Like he ends it on one beat after and it like doesn't have any effect. It kills the whole everything. R to the O to the N and then I say Swanson's got swag the size of Big Ben clock. Dude, you gotta end it on the rhyme. I know what I have you to You had do. it at I ben. know, I got it. That's basically exactly what's happening right here with Nate. Every time he ends a verse, he just can't stop. He always has to say something right after because he feels like he has to lead into the chorus, but you don't have to do that. Like, listen to this. Why is this here? Hey, you looking for the same thing that tore you apart? Come on. Her vocals don't match the track whatsoever. That's another thing that I don't like about the chorus. It's not that her singing is bad per se. It's not, I mean, it's, she's not Beyonce, but it's not that her singing is terrible. It's just like on this beat, it doesn't really go. You feel me? I'm looking for that overdose, yeah. I don't care, let it overflow. I could be an overdose, so let me explain it. All right, all right, I had to pause just because like the chorus is just not good. That's all that I can say about it. I'm so glad that his writing has definitely progressed because that was not a bar. You ain't got the wrong picture, you got the wrong painter. And there's no switch up of his flow. The flow sounds exactly the same throughout the entire four minute song. I'm sure it's not gonna switch on this last part either. Listen to Nate now. He'll throw like two or three different flow styles. He switches it up so it's fun to listen to and it's, and it's easy to listen to because you don't get bored. It's, you can listen to the same artist for four minutes straight. This is literally the same rhyme pattern. It's literally the same rhyme scheme the entire time. No internal rhyme schemes. One to two rhymes at the very end of the bar. It's very, it's very crude. All I wanna do is introduce you to a savior. Jesus. I wish up a guy that made the world six days. Yeah. I wish up a guy that would never turn away. I wish up the truth, yeah. I wish up the faith. And even if you kill me, you couldn't take that away. I'm living for that overdose. Someone get me high. I'm gonna represent him with my flow until I die. Devil say you're hopeless. It's just all up in your mind. That 
That was a nice little line. I'd rather die with the truth than live forever in a lie. If you don't stand for something, what will you fall for? It's in the same like lyrical, it's in the same lyrical idea. It's dope the way he put it into this, into this context because God is the truth. Even if I die for it, I'd rather die for the truth than live in a lie. I like that one. That was, that was nice. And I like the production, the way as the verse was coming to an end, we got a little bit piano difference. It switched up now that we know like, oh, okay, the climax of the song, the climax of the verse is coming. We're about to go into the chorus. You can audibly hear that. Look, listen, originally it's like way over here in like the, the third octave up. It's like, dee, 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 dee. and then the piano comes in at like eighth notes, but at a lower register on like a lower octave. It's like, dun, 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 dun. no, listen. Yeah, I wish up the faith. And even if you kill me, you couldn't take that away. I'm living for that overdose. Someone get me high. I'm gonna represent them with my phone until I die. That was you hear that difference? So that way you know like the end of the song is coming. Hey, I hope this is just all up in your mind. I'd rather die for truth than live forever for a lie. Okay, we don't need 44 seconds of outro. That's a long damn time. The production choices really is what it is. And that's all it comes down to. I'm glad that the production is definitely, like I said, it's ramped up every single time that I've heard a song from NF. Like every album is never stagnant in terms of the production. But yo, that was all right. You know, that wasn't as cringy, but still he definitely had not honed his craft right here. But overall, not bad, not as bad as I thought. And I get insight as to why people say that he started in the Christian background because I was like, yeah, he's got a couple Christian bars here and there. He talks about God, talks about his faith here and there. Nah, this song is four minutes and 44 seconds. Shouts to Jay-Z, four minutes and 44 seconds of straight Jesus and yo, if that's your thing, that's cool. But yo, that's it for today, guys. I appreciate everybody that's here watching this. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing and please consider liking the video and leaving a comment to help the video get out there to other people so they can watch and they could potentially subscribe. That's the way the algo works, fam. Algo boosts with these comments and with these likes. Brini666, once again, thank you for the cringe. I, I love a good cringe fest, you know? So we're two for two or 0 for two, depending on how you see the songs. But it's good to know where the man came from. So I appreciate you. Again, I appreciate you being one of the two mods. Again, didn't say it last time, you're the best subscriber. That's what you wanted me to say. I'm not saying that I was forced to say that, but I'm also not not saying that. But yo, everybody else, if you're not in the Discord, hop in there. It's a vibe, it's always popping. We're in there every single day for the most part. If I skip a day, I don't really skip more than a day if I and if I do it's just because I had I had shit going on you know hop up in the discord link in the description patreon link in the description social medias link in the description but that's it for today ladies and gents like I always say at the end of my videos I appreciate everybody watching this because I know you could watch your reactions maybe not this specific song I don't know if anybody else is doing this song but me but I know you could watch the re other reactions, you can watch them with anybody. So I appreciate you doing it with me and spending like 15, 17, 18 minutes here. Like I always say, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.